Hi there. In this video we will be investigating this Schneider switch that seems to be releasing some smoke. Cleaned it once about uh, I don't know two weeks ago because at first I thought huh, that must be some dust from construction or something. Well, it uh, actually came back. The lights are still working, no weird buzzing sounds, but it is smoking in this area. What? That's weird. And obviously, I have these things all over the house, so I really need to see what's up with them. Is it a design problem? or just a random problem with this particular one. So hopefully uh, it's just a problem with that particular one because if not, this could be quite costly to replace all of them. Actually, extremely costly. Anyway, so uh, first thing, camera focus if you can. Let's see with the PicTech if we have Power, obviously we have power all over this place, shut it off, still power, obviously, so I need to go uh, um, open the, the safety switches, so we don't have power here anymore. Test again, fuses are open, so no power in here, and again thank you PicTech for sending this thing in, it's awesome. Now. With this, presumably I will start from the other side because it will not be so visible. I need to pop out this, the frame, and then get to this little thing and see what's wrong with it. Frame is out. I just put this behind it and pulled and it <laughs> went flying. And now we have this in here. And in theory we should be able to to remove the switch, but it's not gonna go that easily. I might need... Ooh, that's bad. What happened? Actually, no. Hey, luckily, I just uh, uh, turned on the light by mistake. This is quite stuck in there, so I might need uh, to sh uh, shut off the video making process and pull it uh, with my fingers. Be back in a second. Not pull on this white thing, pull on the gray edge there. At about the same time I released uh, also the bottom part and now it's coming out. Uh, you can still see the smoke but way less because I put my fingers there, you can see my fingerprint. And seems to be coming from inside somewhere. Hmm. Not sure if I can actually remove this without using my other hand. So be back in a second and continue the investigation somewhere else after we take this out. Hmm. I was hoping to be a bad, uh, yes, I checked this, no uh, power in here. I was hoping to have a bad connection and the smoke to be on this and in here somewhere, but no, nothing. So the smoke, it's originating from the inside. You can even see it here on the plastic a tiny bit. So we will be opening this thing up and see what happened. Made in Spain. Man, I don't like this. I have a lots of them inside the house. Jeez. Schneider, what happened here? Anyway. Ah, brand new replacement going in. I just need to simply plug these things into the holes, life to life, neutral to neutral, and uh, we are good to go. But that doesn't bring me confidence uh, into these switches at all. And Schneider was supposed to be a really good brand, so... Ugh, yikes. I'm genuinely confused. The connection in here seems to be really strong. The plastics seems to be nice. <sighs> what happened to this, this particular switch that made it fail? I've got no clue. Just... Ah, pop in the cover and then get back to the to the old switch and see why did it fail doesn't make any sense anyway there's that i will go turn on the <sighs> the lights from the main fuses getting ready to open this thing up right here on the kitchen table 
Yes, all the marks are made by me now that I uh, removed it from there. Although, wait a second. Is that mark also from me? Right where I show it my fingernail? Or is that a heating up mark? Hmm. Could still be made by me when I removed it. Did not came out too easily. Anyway, pop this white cover off and see what we get inside. As you can see we have some smoke in there. And smoke all around here. And seems to be coming from the right side like we look at it now. So I will also pop out the black plastic and see what happened. Okay, weirdly enough it seems to be quite dark in the inside. So the switch itself didn't make a proper contact. Is this thing not uh, seated properly maybe? From the factory it came with an error problem somehow. It seems to be working normally. And I didn't uh, overload this thing. This from its specs, where is it? 10 amp maximum at 250 volts. I'm, uh, I, I, I think I'm even below 100, honestly. What happened here? This switch is black. Really, 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 really black. So it's like it has been severely overloaded, but the issue is that I know for a fact that it hasn't been. This is weird. What happened to the, this switch? Is the rating on it not real? But wait a second, I have switches exactly the same type and it has to it seems to have some kind of grease on it. I'm expecting in this area where this little guy moves, did the grease actually reach the wrong area where it shouldn't be? I don't know. Maybe something happened and this thing didn't properly close and it began to darken out and then made worse and worse and worse contact over time. But this is a problem. This a switch shouldn't be able to remain in a improperly closed position, honestly. So, I don't know. I'm I'm honestly confused, completely confused how this could have happened. I I honestly expected way more from from Schneider products. <sighs> yeah. That's a bit weird. I will do some more investigations and get back to you with some info about this thing, but I have these things all over the house and I I actually bought them because they. Everybody said Schneider was okay. They seemed to be working really well. They they connected really well. So I had no reason to think they are not good. I actually w wanted to go with another uh, brand, but I the other brand just felt cheaply made compared to these ones. And now that I look at this, this is. Honestly, disturbing and confusing. And again, it has not been uh, run over its specs. I think I'm running it at half of the rated uh, current. Doesn't make sense at all. Uh, if you are thinking that this didn't work or something, it is working and it's quite strong. So it is doing its thing. But my only explanation that for some reason or another this thing didn't properly close one time and once uh, it uh, began to arc and create sparks and darken 
there was no turning back because this thing uh, would never make a perfect contact again. That's my only explanation, but a proper switch shouldn't allow for uh, for something like this to, to happen, to not fully close. So, if something from the design of it, or, uh, or don't know, the, the clearance, the edges of this thing allow the switch to somehow remain stuck, well, that's just bad design, honestly. That, no, doesn't make sense. But as you can see, we have clearance all around, so it shouldn't be that. But I'm, I'm just guessing at this point because it just doesn't make sense. Searched for uh, my backup pieces because I thought maybe someday over the years, maybe five, ten years, I need to replace one of them, but not after four months or three months. How much it has been? <sighs> This is the model, you can see 10 amps at 20, 250 volts, nothing about 100 watts or something like that, so this clearly has not been overrun, not even by half, so makes no sense. I will try and contact Schneider and see if I get a reply from them with some kind of explanation or something, but I don't like this honestly, we'll see. And this is the line of uh, products. I like them because you could see even the metal frame that's holding them together is quite sturdy. Other ones, other brands had plastic frames, much weaker. This looked like a, a good quality product, but yeah, I, I don't know. Same location, about two years later. Yeah, time flies. Uh, this is the switch that I installed when the first one failed and this one seems to be just fine. So yeah, this one had some manufacturing defect or something. I have no clue because same location, same LED light, this one works normally. But others don't. For example, this one in the bedroom, you can see it right there. So it's beginning to do exactly what the first one did, but two years later. So this one lasted way freaking more. And another one in the living room, similar situation, but a little less uh, acute. Uh, so yeah, these things just seem to have uh, some manufacturing problems. And I did contact uh, Schneider. The reply was that uh, they they noted the, um, the quality issue. They did not even try to, to tell me that I did not install it properly or what was not used properly directly. They noted the quality issue and told me that they don't uh, really have a, a solution for me at this point in time. And I asked, okay, but what can I do? I have all of this installed in the house. Do I change the whole system again? What's in the wall? Everything. And, uh, they actually had a solution, they seem to have a new version of this switch which is kind of more flat but also they changed the, the way they, it clips in. So I will need to use uh, an adapter to be able to use the new switches on all the system. But at least I don't need to change absolutely everything. So what I'm thinking here that there is a chance that they actually had uh, some quality issues and created a whole new lineup upgraded uh, version of this or it was just time to create a new upgraded version and that one also has this issue. I have no freaking clue, they did not tell me that, but a new version uh, exists that with an adapter can be installed in place of old ones and uh, yeah, when they fail I will upgrade them to the new one and hope that works well, but yeah, you can ask me over the years how that uh, happens. And yeah, that's about it. It kind of sucks. I'm still keeping this stupid thing in. They did not request me to send it in or... They... Yeah, a quality problem. It, it was like they already knew what's up with this. And most likely, honestly, they know. Because I cannot be the only one where the switch got black. Like that in no time and for no good reason. So, uh, that's about it. Hope this video helps you and clarifies a few things. So uh, yeah, just because it's a big uh, and known company doesn't mean that they don't make uh, stupid mistakes sometimes. 
I would honestly hope they would say, yes, yeah, send it to us and we, are, we will send you a replacement. Because normally companies, when they do stupid shit, um, should own their mistakes, uh, even if there's no warranty anymore on, on something like this. But yeah, I at least they gave me an alternative and I can... Uh, upgrade to, to the new version that hopefully is better who knows it is what it is but yeah that's about it see you in the next video bye